The opinions, viewpoints, and beliefs presented on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the management, the affiliates, and broadcast partners, or the sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to Scarefest Radio's Body and Spirit, brought to you by Mama's Ruby, Mama Ruby's family of metaphysical and spiritual and holistic shows. Um, little reminder on that topic. Little reminder on that topic. The uh, the mystical fair, mysticalfairlex.com. That is this weekend, everyone. Um, and our guest tonight on Body and Spirit, talking. Pet spirits, uh, the pet readings, and uh, stuff. Carrie Kennedy, K- uh, Carrie, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you for having me, Wes. And uh, I'm going to apologize. I have to apologize to Carrie. I'm going to apologize to everybody else. I'm experiencing technical difficulties out the ass tonight. Um, we got the, everything. We got the audio bugs worked out in the first show, and now Carrie, who is on the line with me, and uh, you can see her. She can't see me. She won't, uh, so um, so she won't know when she's on camera. So if we catch you picking your nose, we'll just have to edit that out in post. So um, let's um. I already know you're handsome, Wes. It's all good. <laughs> we um, <laughs> uh, we we're gonna bring in our first caller at about fifteen after, uh, right after our first commercial break. Everybody, uh, Carrie is. Uh, we've collected some um, pictures from some of our viewers, and she is going to do. On the spot, pet readings for live pets. We've got all live pets tonight. Question earlier on Facebook. Can she do dead ones? Um, I'm going to ask you this, Carrie. Now, you usually get a heads up whether an animal is alive or dead. But do dead animal spirits and live animal spirits, do they do they even feel different to you? They really don't. And I usually have to ask the client if the animal is dead or alive because they are just as loud on the other side, you know, because I'm a medium. So they're just as loud and I can't tell the difference, which is kind of creepy, but that's just my life these days. Well, um, the thing is, okay, I, I, you know me, I like to process the way things work in this spiritual world in my mind, in my little box that I have. And, um, it does, that really doesn't sound out of reason because it's very rare, I would assume, that you're actually connecting with what we would call an animal ghost. Um, I, uh, or do you make that delineation between ghost and spirits? I don't, you know, I do with humans. With people, I do. Do you make that delineation with people and do you make that delineation with um, animals? I mean, can I tell the difference between? Uh, no, I, 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 not, not whether you can person? tell the difference. Whether you think there is a difference. Here's uh, let me let me let me frame it for you. Okay. When I'm dealing with a human, we'll use all all fingers are all all thumbs are fingers, but all fingers are not thumbs. Um, I believe that when we die, talking about yeah. people now, mm-hmm. uh, one of two things happens: either we go on to the to the afterlife and 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 reside there as in spirit and mm-hmm. can be called back by psychics and all that and can come back and visit for good purposes. Or I believe we stick around and cause trouble, i.e. ghost. Absolutely. Now, sometimes people do claim to be, we'll use the word haunted by mm-hmm. the spirits of their dead uh, uh, pets. Mm-hmm. I don't deny that that happens. I tend to think, though, that it was the human creating the attachment, creating the, in other words, holding on to the spirit of the animal versus the animal saying, no, I don't want to leave today. Um, so now that that's my delineation. Spirits, the spirit is eternal. The ghost is current. Hmm. Does that make any sense at all? 
<laughs> kind of, sort of. Uh, I don't think it's the human creating the attachment. I think it's a good question you pose there because I think the animal wants to stay and the human wants the animal to stay. So it's not a, it's not a negative attachment. It's the animal is going to stay no matter what, because the animal is still going to stay in spirit form to help heal from the other side. And so it's not a, you know, obviously a negative thing. It just, it's there. It, it stays from the other side and it helps heal and it helps protect us from the other side. I had a cat for 19 years who died 10, 12 years ago. Well, she's, she's telling me 12. Uh, she, she's saying, I'm, I'm here, mommy. And um, she's here for a reason, you know, this and she's not need. my ghost, but she's, she's here for a reason. This is what she we need me. now. Cats that can count. Great. Um, now I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to throw out something and uh, I kind of know yeah. the answer, but I'm, we're going to, we're going to bring it out. Jake Godbold's in one of the chat rooms. Okay. And he says, well, should, if you're reading a cat and shouldn't a cat just go meow, 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 and shouldn't a dog just go bark, bark, bark? You would think. I wouldn't. I, I, I can, I, I like to think that. I'll put it this way. Here I am, everybody. Look at me. I am, you, you, you know me, Carrie. I'm, I do. A, I'm, I'm gruff. I'm, 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 I'm. He's a goofball, I'm, folks. I'm a goofball. I, but I believe that my spirit is a much high I am a I am a much higher being. You're very I'm, evolved actually. When yeah. I when I'm not on this earth. Okay? Yeah. Absolutely. Now, is that appropriate to apply that to animals? That they are more evolved. Their on spirit, a spirit is more level. evolved than what we see. Absolutely. And I think that our spirits are all at different levels. You know, we come into this earth, we come into this lifetime very evolved, uh, way more. You know, even a, a, somebody who doesn't seem that evolved in this lifetime could be very evolved, you know, on a spiritual level. Uh, you know, maybe somebody who's homeless and doesn't have a penny and seems completely, you know, <laughs> doesn't you know, just isn't functioning actually has a very high spiritual purpose here to teach somebody something on a high level here. Or, we just or don't know that. now I would also argue though, that sometimes even, even those of us with higher spirits have to come sometimes just to learn shit. Absolutely. You know, you know in, in other words, you could, the, or to teach other people things. Yes. You know? and so, yeah. so, so Jake, you can apply that to animals now, this is one thing that, Carrie, you are, some pet psychics disagree with you on this. You and I had a discussion about one of my dogs that died years and years ago. And he was the, okay, everybody, I've owned a lot of dogs in my life. This dog was smarter than half the people that I know. Um, and you agreed with me that this dog, as far as dogs can go, he'd evolved about as far as you can go in a, in a dog suit. So uh, you, you actually thought that maybe he was looking for uh, a human play uh, next time around. Could Do be. you still hold that, that feeling that sometimes that um, that spirit can evolve and move into and possibly uh, get a, a, a nice pink flesh suit versus the furry ones? Absolutely. Uh, I've talked to thousands of animals and people and they, they tell me that we reincarnate and they, they want to try out what it's like to be a human and that we go back and forth in between human and people. Uh, now, 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 next question on that same topic. Have you ever talked to one that thought that found out that the human was, was totally, totally overrated because nobody gives you tummy rubs? <laughs> they don't tell me that until they go back into spirit. Yeah. <laughs> they, they've never said it overrated. I wouldn't use that word, but <laughs> maybe that was an interesting lifetime. Why do you, I mean, animals no. are way more evolved than people are, by the way. Way more. There. See, Jake, there. They're more evolved than we are. Way I, more evolved. They are little Zen masters. Like, so psychic. I um now one thing I have come to believe was the the um you you're you brought it out almost as soon as we met that you were you talked about how one of animals' main purposes are not just to be fuzzy, cute companions, 
but in the case of pets, to actually act as, um, we'll call them healing conduits. Yes. Um, how does that work? A, a pet, okay, now I believe you, because I really believe that, I'm, okay, everybody, I think that my pets are uh, a good chunk of the reason, beyond good genetics, mm -hmm. uh, that I'm not dead today. I think yeah. that I've had a couple of, um, um, we'll call them, I don't want to say tumors, but I'm, I'm just saying, I really think that my animals have, um, have, have healed me physically, not just spiritually. Um, yes. How, I don't, I guess, how does that work? Sounds like kind of a dumbed down question, but I mean, do they, do they bring energy into us? Do they draw energy out? Do you have any Both. insights on how they actually heal us? Both. They do that. They, they, they pull out energy. It's just like getting Reiki. If you've ever had Reiki energy, um, they're giving energy to you. They're pulling it out. So <laughs> anytime that, um, people are like, Oh, I don't want my dog to sleep in my bed. I'm like, let your dog sleep in your bed. Cause that's the time that your dog is healing you actually. Um, they are, they're giving you energy. Anytime the dog is just in your house or the cat or any animal, really, especially dogs, man, they are healers. They are, they are giving you some serious, intense energy and they're pulling it out of you too. You know, dogs, dogs have the ability, I believe to heal cancer, to heal any kind of illness. I mean, they're, they're amazing. I always say dogs are healers, entertainers, or, um, guard dogs. And mostly, the, well, all animals are healers, but they are specifically healers. And they are they are on earth to be healers. All animals are healers. I'm and, uh, I'm just going to throw it in there. I'll, I'll probably live forever. I'll, I'll never get out of here. Um, you got a lot of animals. <laughs> I've got a lot of animals, and I've got a lot of them that sleep in the bed. And everyone that I we love do, it. I, we started to uh, actually throw some pictures in. I'll just give everybody this update on the new puppy. First of all, Carrie, have you ever met an animal that can teleport? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I've got allergies. Um, no, but <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. I mean, I swear not, this puppy right? This puppy will get in the bed, jump off of my wife's side of the bed, and land on me. <laughs> I do not know how this dog does it, but I mean, she'll go, oh, the puppy's jumping out of bed, and here it comes landing on my face. Um, so well, yeah, it's time to feed me, Dad. <laughs> no, that... Time to feed me. She, Come just on. Has, she has no respect for personal space, and so we're, we're trying... <laughs> but it, it is fun, right? but I mean, she will crawl up, and um, I finally have one that will, like... She actually sleeps on my head. She just <laughs> curls right up. Well, and, do you get headaches? No. Neck aches? I, well, yeah, but well, no, not go. okay, not lately. Okay, I don't think this puppy is healing go. me yet. Anxiety? I'm, I, I'm going anxiety? to say, yeah, caused by the fucking dog. <laughs> uh. Anxiety, hello, but anxiety, Wes, wrapped around you, healing anxiety. I, I'm sure. They know where to go. Here's the deal: animals know where to go on your body. They, they go where they're supposed to go on your body to heal your body. That's what they do. Okay. Well, Even if it's wrapped around your head. <laughs> Seriously. She, I, I no, I, that's what hey, they do. My, 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 the, my, my dog, the one that I call my dog crawls up and, and just absolutely hovers over my chest. Like I said, I'm convinced he's the reason I'm alive today. Well, um, and, and, yeah. The, the and that's reason. your anxiety. But I'm just going to throw it out there. I don't think the puppy is concentrating on healing yet. I think the puppy just has no respect for my personal space. You I, think that, but from the day they're born, they know how to heal. Okay, well, we're, I'll get a reading on the puppy later. We're going to go ahead okay. and take our first we'll commercial break, everybody. And when I come back, we're going to try to get one of our callers in. We'll be right back. Sounds good. <laughs> Have you checked out the Mama Ruby's family of metaphysical and spiritual shows? The Mystical Fair in Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington's only monthly psychic and holistic healing arts fair. 
the Inner Light Festivals in Louisville in June and Lexington in November. And watch for Mama Ruby's Expo coming in 2020. Plus, Mama Ruby's Meta Lecture Series featuring interesting guests speaking on fascinating subjects. Start your journey now at MamaRubies.com for more information. And welcome back everybody to Scarefest Radio and it is brought to you by Mama Rubies. Um, okay, keep, we're going to uh, keep the camera on me a minute and we're going to try to add our first caller and see if this will be a little clumsy. There it is. Okay, we're going to call this person. The reason I, I had to do this kind of clumsily, everyone, is that I didn't know what getting a collar on was going to do to my video. So, uh, <laughs> it it might knock everybody offline. It might knock her picture offline. Christina, are Hello? you there? Hello? Hello, Christina. Can you hear me? Christina? Hello? There you I go. I can hear Christina. <laughs> Okay. I can hear you. Okay, now there we go. We got it all figured out now. Um, now I'm going to, uh, I am going to uh, go ahead and put on the slideshow, everybody. This is okay. what um, Carrie will be reading for the next 15 minutes, and I'm just going to turn it over to you, Carrie. I've got um, uh, Christina's pet pictures, everybody. This is Loki. Thank you, Wes. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good to talk to you. Okay. We've only got 15 minutes, so I'm going to just go. Um, yep. Okay. Loki. Uh, Loki. I'm going to ask permission from Loki if I can talk to him. Yes? Him? Um, yes. Okay. And Loki is still alive. He's still with us. Uh, what questions do you have for Loki? Um. Without giving anything away. <laughs> Does he ever miss his first dad? He says yes, but I'm very happy now. I'm very content. Um, he, this is funny. He says, but you just switched my food and I don't like it. Uh, well, Which is he, recently he, or, or kind of recently? No, not recently. Um, he his dish was a little empty earlier today. He just loves to complain about his food. So, Okay, he's talking about his food and not liking his food so much. So when did you switch his food? Talk to me about we that. Actually haven't for, we haven't switched the food for years. He's saying you switched my food and I don't like this food. So was it a couple years ago? Yeah, yeah, it was a long time ago. It doesn't matter. He's saying, I like the first food you fed me. I hate my food. <laughs> what, what, brand are, what brand is he on? Uh, he gets a mix. We, we have three cats together, and they get a mix of some science diet, really healthy stuff, and some Purina um, grocery store stuff. Okay. Here's the deal. Can you get him on really good uh, quality wet food? That's going to extend his life. He feels really dehydrated to me. Okay. And okay. and dry food is really good for his, uh, his gums, his teeth to get that tartar and the plaque off his teeth. But he feels, he yeah. feels a little bit dehydrated to me. Okay. His right kidney feels okay. like it's a little bit uh, sluggish. I don't know if you knew that, okay. um, but he's saying, I do not like my food. So let's give okay. him a little bit of wet food. I, I recommend a lot of brands. Fromm's is a good one. Blue Buffalo, Taste of the Wild. There's a lot of good ones. Uh, wet food is really good for for their health. Okay? Okay. Can you get him on wet food? He's going to go nuts. definitely add wet food back, okay. yeah. Just by the way, I think I, I said earlier, I had a cat, a uh, black cat for 19 years. Ugh, black cats. <laughs> I, I'm a softie for black cats. 
Oh, I, gotcha. That's the first thing he's talking about saying, I don't like my food. So that's the first thing he wants to tell you. Okay. Um, okay. Gary, tell the cat to quit bitching. <laughs> but here's the deal. And, and sometimes they're so eager to talk to me. They want to say, hey, I, I need to tell her this. But he is so in love with you. My gosh. He's so in love with you. He says, Mama, I am a he- I'm your he- I'm your healer, but you know this, okay? And t- talk to me. Do you have a chronic illness? Because he says that I'm her healer. Yes, I, I actually have that. Um, I'm a diabetic and I have autoimmune arthritis. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that. He says I help to heal her every day. He does. Every day. He does. He, he, the, the longer I've had him, the better he's gotten at snuggling. And Ooh. now he, he gets to a point where he demands his snuggle time. So I well, can't and tell him, him And you know that because I feel like you're very, very intuitive yourself. You're very, mm-hmm. very intuitive. I feel like you could almost do what I do. Did you know that? <laughs> Not you really. That. Sometimes I think so, but yeah. You already know this. You could do what I do. <laughs> We got to talk later about this because you could do what I do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I might see you soon and we could talk about this because you could do what I do. You're very in tune yep. with animals just like I am. So let's talk about this, okay? All right. Well, we'll talk um, this weekend because I'll be there. <laughs> good, good to know. Um, <laughs> okay. What other questions do you have for him? Um, are his hips bothering him at all? Yeah, his back right hip is, he says okay. the back right hip is hurting the worst. They both hurt, but the back right is worse. He okay. says, um, and you have stairs that he goes up? Mm-hmm. Okay, he's saying, can you help me up with the stairs? If if he'll let me carry him, I will gladly carry him up and down stairs. Yeah, he's saying, can you uh, not pick me up like a baby, but just hold me up upright, and that would help? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm looking down because I'm looking at his picture, by the way. <laughs> he's uh, He gets a little bit grumpy sometimes. His personality is very sweet and very loving, but he says, I get a little bit grumpy sometimes. And, not, and now he you know why. Grumpy. He doesn't feel that, that good sometimes. Get him on some really good wet food. Add water to his wet food, okay? He's going to mm-hmm. be a different cat when you, when you get him on some really good quality wet food, okay? Okay. Okay. And you said uh, he has other pet buddies. Who's the orange cat? Uh, the orange cat is Pumpkin. And and that's a cat you have at home? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he doesn't like that cat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's mutual. <laughs> he does not like that cat. I hate to report it, but he he does not like that cat. He's, okay. I think he's jealous of her because he they is. both like to snuggle with me during the day. So No, he is. So let me just show him that. Um, okay, here's what we can do about this. Okay. If you can spend equal time with them in different separate rooms, that will really help mm-hmm. him because he's he's super jealous. He, he wants all of your time. So if you can spend time with Pumpkin, you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. So take pumpkin in one room and spend time with pumpkin, you know, for 10 minutes and really give all your attention and love to pumpkin. And and here's the deal. Animals communicate with visual images. So show pumpkin um, all your love and affection Mm -hmm. and then and take Loki in, in the room and do the same. And and I know it takes time and, you know, we we get busy in our day and we forget about it, but really take that time and show Loki how much you love him and care about him. And yeah, he just showed me a uh, slow blink, which means tell her I love her. Um, mm-hmm. And he says, I do that to her and she knows what that means. Yeah. Yeah. He said, and he says, I get treats too. He does. Okay. Um, he, he and pumpkin every morning get a taste of heavy cream from my. Oh, <laughs> well, he loves that. And he's still bitching about his food. Jeez. 
He showed me a balloon. Do, do, does he have a birthday or somebody has a birthday coming up or just crossed or just passed celebration birthday? Um, no. Let's see. Um, do you know his birthday? I don't actually know his birthday. Oh, well, guess what? His birthday is April 1st. That's what he's telling me. Okay. That's what he's telling me. His birthday yeah. is April 1st. He says, can we celebrate my birthday? <laughs> Absolutely. We can celebrate his birthday. We'll love it. And he says, uh, can you pet? Like, I love when you pet right here. I love it. And you sing to me. <laughs> and you sing to me and you pet my paws. I love when you pet my paws. Yeah. Okay. Because That's what he's telling me. That's what he's telling me, Mama. What questions do you have for him? Uh, that was really the only questions was, you know, if, if he missed his dad and if his hips were bothering him. So. Yeah, that back right um, hip is really, is really hurting him. Um, other than that, he just feels a little bit dehydrated. So fresh water twice a day. Let's get him on wet food and add water to the wet food, okay? That's really going to help him. They actually have a recirculating water fountain. So, This is the deal. I tell people do not use those because how often do you clean that? Actually once a month. Yeah. And here's the deal. I, I mean, I had one too and I was like, I can't do this because so many, <laughs> so much bacteria adds up. I just, I clean out my, the water bowl, you know, I, I put it in the dishwasher every night and I give them fresh water twice a day. Because we don't, okay. we think about it. Would you want to drink out of a water fountain that was only clean once a month? No, Probably not. not really. Probably not. I'm not, I'm, like, it's not your fault. <laughs> don't, you know. But I'm just saying, I probably wouldn't want to drink out of that, right? Um, yeah. So let's get rid of the water fountain. Just give, him, just give him fresh water twice a day, and he'll be so much happier. Uh, wet food. You know, he says, I really want to go outside, Mama. But, you know, <laughs> tell him he's not allowed. Yeah, once it gets warm, yeah, well, but, once uh, it gets warm he's allowed to so go outside. So you do let him go outside. Oh, Wes is. Well, before we go to commercial break and before we let uh, Christina go, I, uh, quick question, because now, I, you know what I, I got to thinking about? Now, we you read one of our cats one time, Carrie, mm -hmm. but just making a casual observation here, knowing what I know about cats. Do cats, yeah. as a rule, bitch and moan more than dogs? They really don't. Dogs kind of have the same complaints. Not complaints, but... And so here, here's the deal. Animals really don't complain. People well, complain all I've heard way is this damn more cat than animals. bitching and moaning. He doesn't like his food. <laughs> he doesn't like this. And don't carry me up the damn stairs. <laughs> here's my deal i'm just trying to make these animals happy right uh, that's my that's i'm just yeah. the bridge. i'm, I'm not arguing the point i think you, I, I think you do a wonderful job i think you uh, picked up on some great things with that cat i'm just saying that i think cats have a reputation for a reason everybody you're watching body and spirit with mama ruby's uh expos they present it and we're I'm having I'm having a blast back here. We'll be right back. <laughs> Do you feel lost in life? Do you seem to be stuck in emotions that are not yours? Is your home not the sanctuary it should be? Contact Spirit Mechanics, where they take a team approach to your metaphysical and spiritual problems. Spirit Mechanics specializes in aura cleansing, stone attunement, attachment removal, and house cleansings. Spirit Mechanics tailors their approach to your individual spiritual path and needs. Find them every month at Lexington, Kentucky's Mystical Fair, mysticalfairlex.com, or on Facebook by searching Spirit Mechanics, that's M-E-C-H-A-N-I-X. Spirit Mechanics, for your spiritual health and well-being. And welcome back, everybody, 
to Scarefest Radio's Body and Spirit. Tonight's guest is Carrie Kennedy. Uh, we're talking pet spirits and uh, uh, that type of thing. Uh, Christina, I, I went ahead and let you off the line. If you're if you're listening uh, via the the show, thank you so much for uh, for joining us. And um, and I kind of unceremonious unceremoniously cut her off there at the commercial break. But um, but no, let's let's uh, before we bring in our next caller, let let's pursue that a little bit, uh, Carrie. Um, sure. The the whole idea of when you've re- at least when you've read my pets. Now maybe my pets are just unusually happy. First of well, all, yeah, they're around you. Of course, they're going to be. Yeah, unusual, yeah, but right? <laughs> I'm I'll put it this way: I'm afraid to actually let you read any of my cats because I just. Uh, you know, screw a damn cat. I mean, I love cats. Oh. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But I just know they would come on and start bitching and moaning about every facet of their life. I don't let yeah, them in. And, oh, the water's not clean enough. All this stuff. Well, that's um, your cats. My hats. My cats are really happy. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I just, <laughs> well, you know, they're feral cats to begin with. So, you know, they, I, I, they, they started a hard life. I don't want to spoil them. I don't want to spoil them. Uh, so, okay. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead now and see if we can get our next caller on the line and everybody will be calling Tracy and her dog is Izzy. Let's see here. Tracy. There it is. going to add her. So, um, Hello? Hello, Tracy. You're on the air. Hey, Will. And uh, everybody knows, Tracy's hometown guy. Let's live like, like right over the ridge. So, uh, Tracy, now you've done this before, so you, you know you know the drill. You know the drill. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw the slideshow of Izzy up on the screen for the viewers. And then you and Carrie, take it away. Okay, Hi, Tracy. Hi, Carrie. It's good to hear from you again. Yeah, good to talk to you. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? Good. Thank you. Um, so good. Izzy. Okay, what questions do you have for Izzy? Um, well, you look at her and you can't tell me. She I'm is sorry, I can the... barely hear you. Are are you on speakerphone or no, I'm on um probably in a dead can you hear me now? Any better? Barely. I can barely hear you. Shoot. Um, let me move to a different spot. Uh, let's see. If this will help any. I'll get closer to the... Now can you hear me? Just just talk really loudly for me. <laughs> okay. Well, if you look at the picture of Izzy, you can probably tell me a whole lot more about her than I can tell you. Yeah, don't give too much away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She okay. is... <laughs> She's the hot mess. Yeah. Do you want me to just tell you what I'm picking up? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So she's telling me that she, that she had a seizure. Did you know that? Um, she had one when she was really young. She never had she, another one. Thank you. No, she's telling me that she had another one at night. And I don't think you know, you, I don't know if you knew about it, but she said I had another seizure. Oh, my word. She Not did. And she said, um, <sighs> Bless her heart. And she's saying, I can't hear out of my right ear. Really? Uh Uh-huh. So I don't know if you noticed that, that, but she's become more anxious and she, she is starting to forget things. So if you start to notice her pacing, that's why. Um, Okay. She does. She, um, pacing. Yep. She's been pacing, but we didn't pay that much attention to it because when she's pacing, she usually has something in her mouth. And she's looking for a place to bury it. That's what, well, that that could just be playing, you know, around. But, uh, you know, so spirit, her guides and angels and my guides and angels are telling me that she's she's got Alzheimer's or dementia. And that she's really. That would um, make sense if you do, Izzy. Izzy is a nut bar. She is a total yeah. nut bar. She's, she's really having a hard time remembering things and that she has had a seizure. So you need to get that checked with your vet and get on, get her on the proper medication for that. Okay. 
Yeah, her older, her sibling, Shy, the one you read, um, he has. Epilepsy. I don't remember, but yes, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, but, I read a lot know, of animals. Of Do what? I, sorry, I, I talk to a lot of animals. Um, so she's she's telling me that um, that she she's just not feeling well. She feels very dehydrated. Hmm. Uh, and, and that she feels a little bit dizzy. So the one thing you want to watch out for is if she puts her head against a wall. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you know Did about you the signs? Did you hear me talking about you and come in here? Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, <laughs> you are. Um, she That's usually what they do, do if they know that I'm communicating with them. I asked her permission, by the way, if I could tune into her because I always follow that code of ethics, by the way. Um and, and, you know, she said yes. So, but she, she is, she's having a hard time hearing out of that right ear. Uh, but she, oh, she says, I'm still mama's baby. Oh, she's a, a mess. She's, she's her a mess. Baby's little girl. She's a mess. She, she says, I'm shaking and I have a lot of anxiety, mama. Oh, she does. Yeah. She's scared to death of loud noises and storms. Mm -hmm. um, she hates people. She hates human beings. Mm -hmm. Anita came over to bring something by, and, and she met Anita. And Anita is a dog whisperer. You know I know Anita. she is. And she would not go to Anita for nothing. Yeah. She couldn't pay the dog to go to her. She hates so everybody else. She's a good else judge of character is what you're saying. She is. <laughs> Let me just try to calm her down. And, and, so, and you can calm her down, too. So show her. So animals communicate via telepathic communication. So anytime you want to communicate with her, show her what you need her to know. Does that make sense? So show her in your mind, uh, you know, visual images, just like a cartoon or a movie in your head. Does that make sense? Yeah, but see, the trouble with her is she's generally most of the time in tune to the television. She watches TV like a person. A lot of animals do. She and says you watch thinks, crime, like crime TV shows. Yeah, she watches um, Forensic Files. Yeah, she, she loves, loves the, the crime TV drama stuff, she says. Yeah, she's <laughs> addicted to um, Tom Ackerman. Gives a whole new meaning <laughs> to Pet Detective, just saying. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, if she sees Tom Ackerman or, or anything, or if you say Tom Ackerman, she flies to the TV set. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She's she animals She's really love to watch TV because they get bored. You know, they get so bored. Um, man, we got to get her some exercise. But she's she's really not feeling well. Baby, her. Well, she's been really coughing a lot. She just like me because of my allergies. Forgive me yeah. for that yeah. outburst there. Um, yeah. She, you're fine. Let's baby her. Let's baby her. Make her comfortable. She's she feels dehydrated. Her kidneys feel, uh, especially uh, her left kidney, feels a little bit off to me. Um, she's got some stuff going on. I, you know, she probably well, right she's here. due a trip. Yeah, she's due I'm a sorry? trip to Georgetown. She's due for a trip to Georgetown yep. to the vet. So. We'll get Let's him to check her it. out up, upside down and backwards. But Let's do it. Nine. She needs to do it. She says, oh, something about her adrenal glands. I, I don't know if they need to be <laughs> emptied or what, but they're hurting. Do you know what I'm talking huh. about? Mm. No, I don't it's know. Stinky, but man, I, like that's what she's telling me. It hurts. It's sore back there. Yeah. She, okay. Um, She's playing and running around and chasing after the kids. And, That's and good. I feel like she feels okay, but That's I mean, good. you know, she's nine years old. So, well, that's not that old for her breed then. That's not that old. No. She's she's really having some decline in that with that ear and that kidney. And uh, what food do you have her on? I'm just curious. She eats um, neutro limited um, ingredient. Okay. Um, lamb and rice. That's a good one. That's a good one, actually. Yeah. That's good. I, I cringe when people say Purina or Beneful because that's awful, awful stuff. Um, yeah, her brother was allergic to um, chicken and chicken byproduct. Yeah. So we had to get something that was limited ingredient. And so okay. she likes it as much as Shy does. So yeah. we got lucky. 
That's uh, crazy that she's nine, though, and she's having all these memory stuff, uh, memory issues. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. Who is in the military? Is that your husband? No. Um, my dad okay. was military. Okay. She's saying that your dad is around the house a lot. She's saying the man yeah. in the military uniform was a, I'm a psychic medium. So, you know, that I, might I be my in, dad. Yeah. I tune into hey, people. Don't give me crying. She sees your dad <laughs> a lot. I, that was one of my questions whether she missed Peppa. She misses who? Her Peppa. Oh, so she knew Peppa. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's why she's bringing it up. If that was yep. one of your questions, so yep. she's she saying yeah. In, yeah, she grew up in my. And, and hold on, and she's saying that that he brought her treats. Yep, he did every day. Yeah, and she's saying he gave that her, he um, gave him cheese. Yeah, you heard and, the word cheese. Yes, I know. And, yeah, and she's saying I miss my treats and I miss him, but I still see his spirit and I love him so much. Oh, and he has not left your house. He has not left you. He's still there every day. Good. Not to creep you out. Not to creep you out. Good. He's still Good. there. Good. He's still there watching you know, He's barking because he's there right now. She's yeah. barking, sorry. Um, he's <laughs> he's there right now. And he's he's sending his love to you. He said, I'm there. Oh. Good. Yeah. And you have wind time? what do you have wind chimes yeah oh dear yeah God. yeah she <laughs> likes to uh listen to the wind chimes out of her left ear <laughs> the ear that's still good she, she likes to listen to the wind chimes and she likes when you yeah. see her there's a story about the wind chimes when we have more okay. time i'll tell you about it okay but just totally you just totally got me on that one <laughs> she loves the wind chimes she says, Mommy, the wind chimes. And she's saying the rain, there's significance about a rainbow. What is that? Um, I'm not sure about the rainbow, but the wind she's, chimes are totally spot on. Completely she's saying spot rainbow, on. That somebody's showing you a rainbow and saying that is a, that is a definite message from heaven. She's saying, um, <laughs> do you give her ice cream? Uh, no. She... Uh, she um, what is yeah. that, Frosty Paws or something icy? She gets um, um, what's left of whatever she can find if it's close. Um, she gets she gets into a Carl's ice cream. My husband. She's talking about ice cream. She, she yeah. tell me In ice other cream. words, she, they don't give her ice cream. She takes she, ice cream. Kind of, I, I right. have a dog. I know. Well, she said, I like ice cream. Yeah, but she, she, she just said popcorn, so I like the popcorn. Yeah, I've got a picture on my Facebook page. She comes and she gets things while you're eating and you don't know that she's got them. Well, yeah. She's with my salad <laughs> crackers and my portrait cookie and, and she packs them around for days. Do you give her popcorn? Um, No. No, she likes it, but we don't have it. Oh, often. she likes it. So she's had it, right? Yeah. 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 She says, I love popcorn. Can I have some more? Oh, dear. Hi, yeah. Why did you come in? We gave her goldfish what? crackers. Oh, she loves goldfish. Yep. <laughs> she yeah. She's got she she love goldfish now. crackers. Oh, she is a, you she <laughs> She's completely high strong never And stopped. she just said I get cheeseburgers. Oh, is he is that a special <laughs> treat? All right, Izzy. This, this is not a game show. This is not just let's <laughs> let's just see what I can get out of my owner now. No, 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 no. Yeah, Izzy. Calm, let's, as we say in the radio <laughs> business, calm the hell down. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, Izzy. She's telling me all kinds of things, by the way. Oh, she loves you. She she's loves a booger you now. I'm telling you, she's a booger. I love her to the moon and the stars. She's a booger. She drives me crazy. She, she loves me you nuts. very much. Wait, wait tell well, real quick, what is the story about the cheeseburgers? She likes McDonald's cheeseburgers without the onions on them. <laughs> okay, let's try to stick to, to stick to the dog food, but <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. know how it goes. They're standing there and they give you the little blue eye thing, and you just it's she's got blue eyes. You got to I'm a sucker for blue eyes. <laughs> 
I, can't I get it. it. I get it. They're little boogers, aren't they? Oh, well, she's, you, you just don't know. Tracy, <laughs> thank you for she, calling in. We, we need to get to you. our commercial break. Uh, okay, thanks, Wes. This is so much fun. Everybody, you're right? listening to Body and Spirit. Thank you, Carrie. You're welcome. Much love. Everyone is Much talking love. about CBD oil. Most of us know that CBD is a cannabis compound that has significant medical benefits, but does not make people high. Its benefits include pain relief, anti-seizure properties, anxiety relief, fights cancer, reduces the risk of diabetes, and it is even used as a sleep aid. Blue Leaf Naturals CBD and hemp products are full-spectrum hemp extract oils. They use only hemp grown in Kentucky, supporting Kentucky farmers and businesses, and helping you and your family stay healthy and well. Blue Leaf Naturals, created with care from seed to shelf. Visit their website at blueleafnaturals.com. Blue Leaf Naturals, a Kentucky proud company. Coyote Chris Sutton. Shamanism. Spiritual advisement. Paranormal investigations. Inspirational presentations. Bringing light to the darkest places for over 20 years. Go to coyotechris.com to learn more. And welcome back to... Body and Spirit presented by Mama Ruby's Holistic and Metaphysical Shows. Um, okay, Gary, for the last few minutes here, we actually had a good question from the chat room. I'm going okay. to frame it a little differently than they did. Um, we talked in the, at the beginning of the show about how animals heal us. And mm -hmm. they know that they're supposed to heal us. Yeah. Now, the question would be, though, if you have allergies yeah. to pets... Why the hell don't they just stay away from us? Because if they're crawling all over us trying to heal us, then they're just making us sicker. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right? There you go. There's I'm your answer. I'm so allergic to my cats. They don't care. They're like, no, I'm going to heal you anyway. I am. I'm sitting here coughing up a lung tonight. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm allergic to cats. And I have two. How silly is that? Um, but they, they help heal me. They are, I'm allergic to horses too, by the way. And I'm a pet psychic, go figure. Um, they help heal us in so many ways and that outweighs, you know, anything. Um, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> now, first of all, um, going back to the topic of, I'm bitchy little animals. <laughs> um, do, uh, have you ever talked to an animal and we'll, we'll say, uh, cat or dog okay. that was eating the generic shit like I feed, um, not only <laughs> Purina most time, I, we, but, uh, but I, I have been known to do it. The, uh, but you gotta uh, talk about you, that. Hey, well, I did, I'm not going to have them eating better than me. And I, I live, I live on like <laughs> baloney sandwiches so um <laughs> but have you have, have any of them ever just said oh i i love that cheap shit no <laughs> they, they always know that they're, well of course actually they love the the cheap crap because it tastes better right because it's loaded with sugar beneful purine it's loaded with sugar and of course it's like fast food for for animals okay, and of course well. it tastes better so, so they love it, and that's why they get fat, right? Well, technically, though, as long as they're happy, because yeah. that's how I got fat. So, I mean, but, you know, <laughs> as, as, long as, as long as everybody's happy. Um, <laughs> do, um, and uh, to answer, uh, now, another one, Jake also, Jake's trying to throw us tonight in the chat room. He he, oh, he, he thought we he thought we, you were, we were going to have a big pity party over my dead cows, the, uh, the ones that go to, um, to slaughter we've had this discussion um my understanding is most of them they're not happy with their situation in life but they get it they know coming into this lifetime what 
yeah, I feel like they know they chose this lifetime and they know that they're going to be slaughtered. And, but you know what, before their death, they, they still mourn. They're still sad. And I can't even think about that. That makes me, that, that breaks my heart. Um, I've seen pictures of cows crying before going to the slaughterhouse. And that breaks my heart. Sorry, you're a farmer. I can't even, like, it's hard for me to share that with you. But um, I've seen pictures, and it's heartbreaking for me to talk about that. But they do. They they mourn. Animals are sentient beings like humans, and they they know what's going to happen to them. They know. But, they okay, now, the but because they're more evolved spiritually, as you said. Mm-hmm. They are. I would think that they would come closer to my adaptation of spirituality in that okay, let's shed this mortal mortal coil and move on to the next one. Maybe next time I'll get to be a puppy. You know, um, in other words, I am not hung up on this lifetime. I, you know, I, I'm not saying I want to die. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying it because, and it's mostly the whole pain associated with it. But when it gets right down to it, I, I really feel like I have something to look forward to beyond this life and i would think that a higher evolved spirit would just be raring to go if if you were because okay let's look at the life of a cow absolutely yeah uh, the life of a cow is not that exciting uh you know at least puppies you know we get to make so that might and, be. well see that to me that just tells me they're they're not as evolved as you think they are because it's just you know <laughs> to them meditation and being in a field might be really exciting to them right i don't know oh my gosh i never thought about cows meditating now I just ooh, that's hello maybe they <laughs> love it hey you never know um right? now everybody of course uh let's get the plugs in if you want your own pet reading in person yeah. and carry okay now everybody here is my my endorsement of carrie i have had a lot of psychic readings in my lifetime her pet reading of uh, of a of a dog that we lost years ago, not Ellie not, not the smart one. It was yeah, it was Ellie Mae. It wasn't the smart one. It was Ellie, uh, Ellie Mae. But I'm going to tell you, she was so spot on about everything about it. That is the only psychic that has ever made me cry. So there's my endorsement. The um, but she will be at the Mystical Fair in Lexington. That's on Whipple oh, Court. Yeah. You can go to mysticalfairlex.com. dot com. Ten eighty four Whipple Court. 1084 Whipple Court, but I'm saying if you find Whipple Court, drive till you see all Good the luck, cars. Right? Yeah, yeah. Go to the parking lot. It's it's like the dead ends at the building. So yeah. it's I don't don't worry too much once you get on Whipple Court about watching the GPS. That's all right. I'm saying. Right. Uh, but uh, she will be doing pet reading now. The preferred uh, now you don't have to you can. You can, uh, the place is still pet friendly, I take it, as long as mm-hmm. you're like it is. on a list. Bring your pet. But so you can bring your pet, yep. or you can, if you have a really good picture on your cell phone. The uh, yeah. the important thing is what I posted uh, when we were looking for people on the show, is it has to show a good picture of their eyes. Yeah. Very important. Thank you. And um, is that, was I right in saying because the eyes are the window to the soul? Absolutely. It's very hard for me to read an animal without a picture of their eyes for whatever reason. Yes. I can still pick it up on the animal. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it's, it's a lot easier seeing their eyes. So, um, go in, get, like I said, we, we did it off a cell phone picture. I, I don't think I've, I don't guess I've ever brought you an animal in person except for some puppies that I didn't even care what they had to say because, yeah. <laughs> because they were like, one of them was in a basket. So yeah, it was, uh, but once again, Carrie named one of my current dogs. So that, that's, how much, that's, that's, really how much, that's how much I value her opinion. Everybody. Uh, oh. This has been Scarefest radios, body and spirit. Another fun episode. We'll be back in two or three weeks. Just watch Facebook, watch the website, and this has been presented by Mama Ruby's Family Shows, including the Mystical Fair in Lexington. Thanks, everybody, for watching.